never really well, fully covered or talked about ever since Johnny left us. We don't really like, as blokes, we don't really like to talk too much about how we feel. But I think it, it really just left a hole, personally, in, in my heart and the, the skating community. And I know that Lucas and I have talked about it because there's that level there of um, communication that we don't really have with any of the other blokes. They weren't there yeah. as much with, as we were with Johnny. Like he was in particular heavily our friend. He has his left to hell though. Something that we try to feel, but I think skating's the outlet. Yeah, I remember the first time I met Johnny. Went to the same primary school and shit, so came to school in grade three. I'm like straight away. I'd already been skating for like six months or something, but he had been skating. For like four years already, he was already landing like double kick flips and shit. Well, I remember the first time I came here with Johnny and some other blokes I didn't really know. And like, some of them were like hell cocky. So he used to just like call me scrawny and stuff because I used to be hell little. Until I like got back. But yeah, like Johnny always used to like stick up for me and you know, like he'd fuck them up if they didn't think. <laughs> John, Johnny like taught me heaps of shit. Like, he taught me how to burp. Pretty sure I was Johnny's favourite, like. <laughs> we were like, like, hell close. Oh, shit. man, I think, nah, like we were best friends. Nah, so. fuck off. Knew him from like grade three. I can I knew him since he was born, mate. No. Well, no not way. since he was born, but we had that sort of connection. Like, no, fuck it off. felt like it. You met him when you were like 14, mate. Felt like we had that connection since we were in the womb, mate. No. I saw, he was he was my blood brother. Once we did it, now we're blood brothers. It's fucking homo, mate. F not fucking homo. It's my best friend. <laughs> shit. He he was. You're talking shit, mate. He was my brother, man. He, he was my He wasn't brother. actually my brother, but he was like my brother. That's what I just said. I can steal him what I say. No. What is it? Fifteen dollar bill in my hand, going to skateboard land. Gonna ride the bowl all day. That would be not gay. Gonna skateboard. I used to think Amy was like the biggest bitch because we'd be like, can you get the fuck out of the kitchen because we're trying to eat? That and is so mean. <laughs> and she'd like, wouldn't? And then, um, and then like when he died, like she'd just come around like. Amy is, it. um, Johnny's. Amy's just back in there. Oh. Um, Sorry, Amy. Yeah, she'd just be crying and she'd like. Shut up! I wasn't even. Can you not touch me, please? So, uh, as Johnny's half sister, you took it hard when his friends would come around that it would remind you of him? Um, yeah, I didn't like them coming around in the first place because they were all pretty ugly and they didn't smell very good. <laughs> like, they were always really sweaty. But, um, they brought back memories for you of. Yeah. It's pretty sad, I guess. So immediately after Johnny's passing, how did it how did it affect the general skating community? Um, um I think she's asking me. Oh, it's a question to both of you. Um whatever. I I think this was actually my interview. <laughs> Oh look, it's really an open question, like. Hi. 
well, I found that, you know, when we went, let's go skate for the snake, we felt like we can't really call it with the snake, or like, we felt like we could call it the snake more because it was Johnny's snake. Um, but, sorry, no, that's not what I meant. There's a fucking trick that, like, Johnny made up, it's called Double, double Travel. Yeah. No, no, it's a double trouble. Oh, bit. fuck you, mate. Well, it's a few different names for it, but it's like, it, basically, you get one friend, you go to deck on the side there, you run up, you go around the other side, you flip it, and you come back. Pretty fucking difficult. Yeah. Really. I reckon we can pull it off. So you go around there. Right, I'll go right, and then you go left. Right, right, ready? That's good. Go. Go. Chicken hop it and then you run back. Fuck that is so lame. Stop fucking lame. <laughs> chicken hop. Fucking throw stuff in that over there. Oh. Oi. 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 Camera up. Camera lady. Watch this. I can see your ass, mate. <laughs> fucking sick ass. Now, Zay, if you sit there and we'll do the run round. Right. Sit down. This one's like fucking 10 out of 10 difficult. Ready? You got that shit peeling? Right. Don't know why fucking likes it so much. That's a hold on to the cat, it's so difficult. So when Johnny died, um, like, when I went to the police station to pick up all his stuff, they had, like, a bag, and it had, like, his deck, his, his boots, boots, and, like, all this other shit. And so I was like, um, I'm pretty sure that he would have wanted me to have those boots, because, like, he always wore them, and, like, I don't think he would have wanted them to rot in some police cabinet or something. So I just took them, because, like, that I was meant to take, like, his ID and stuff to give to his mum. But I took the boots as well because I'm pretty sure he would have wanted me to have them. And they cost him like 600 bucks or something because he got them, like he won them in a skating comp, like yeah. as an extra trophy. So I, I like, I mean he didn't actually say, oh, you can have these boots. But that, man, that's what his, like, like his spirit would have said. Like. Yeah. And like, also, he has, the, he had like the lucky skate room that he always wore. And I, um, well, like, that was also in there, and I didn't, like, mean to take it. I, like, I put it on, and I just couldn't get it off my finger. So that man, it was like, it was, like, just Yeah, for no, it. I think Johnny like, was like, no, he can't get this off his finger. Because he because wants you to have it. Now it's your lucky skate room. So, I, like, I just leave it there, and, like, I have actually tried to get it off, because I've got a weird blood circulation problem. So when I get really cold, I go all, like, yellow. And, like, yeah, I can't swim for too long, because, like... I really wanted to be a surfer, oh. but, uh, but um, I can't because I just go all yellow and like I nearly drown. So I've got like issues with the river. No, no I'm, a, I'm an awesome swimmer. Yeah, oh, but, what? Yeah, but anyway, I've got his ring. What do you two see yourself doing in the next five to ten years? As I don't see know. Oh, I reckon in the next four, four sort of five years, try and get some sponsorship going. You know. Yeah. Sort I don't of know. try and. Well, I'm I'm already halfway there. Like. Yeah, there I've are got a lot of scouts. I've got a few interests so far. Yeah. Like if not, I'd probably just try, try to open up a skate shop. Yeah. Sell shit to young kids. I know. I get the doll. That that's like pretty good. I can just live off that and shit. Fresh kits every couple of weeks. 
So I know I just got to keep skating. Just yeah. going forever, mate. Yeah. You think that um that is what Johnny would have wanted you to do? No, without a fucking sure, doubt. Man. Johnny hadn't died, like he would have done great shit. He would have gone places. And I reckon I want to be like TV presenter because I've got a really good speaking voice. You're pretty articulate, man. Like, yeah, like I got like all the chicks say, like yeah, like, no, they're like oh, gift of the gab. I want to hear Lu Lucas sing because I've got a really like oh, I'm pretty good singer. Like, like, like rapping. Yeah, no, yeah, not singing, just like just rapping and, and like real gravelly stuff, like. Could you do a rap for us? Yeah. Do you want me to beatbox now? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> right. It's a little brother brotherhood thing we have. I spit, you spit. Okay. Just go for it. <laughs> I'm just walking. I ain't talking. Lucas. <laughs> I'm in my hood, in my neighborhood. You get out of my hood. This ain't going good. Got my AK-47 in my bag. Gonna get you, dirty hag. Fucking gross, man. Yeah, we've been going out tagging quite a bit. Tag like here a few times. Representing Johnny because, look, I know, like, he did a lot of tagging, and and I no like people his tag name nobody really knew who it was, but he like he was a famous. It was um, Rip Snorter. It was almost like as good as Banksy. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, and um, I... when he died, like we all knew about it, and I thought <clears throat> I would be Rip Snorter. So and I told everyone. So everyone thinks that it's me. Sort of sort of stolen his props a little bit there, haven't you? Uh, Nah. But we he, made up like this. But it's in, it's in Johnny's memory a like, lot. We've got this crew together now. It's called J Crew. Yeah, J, J, J like Crew. Johnny Crew. J Crew. So We're we, thinking of getting I'll, tats put. Yeah, J Crew. Up here. Fill and up like, up. whenever we do a piece and shit, like, we put J Crew in the corner just to. Yeah. Like, J Jakers was another one that he, in the early days, Jakers. He'd sort of spray that one around. He's had a few different ones, but like, Rip it, Snorter was like. Rip the, Snorter. The big one. There ah. was. There was. There was, um. Jam Bodley. That was um this one night after a hardcore skate. Like we'd skate we didn't just skate like the snake and the bowl, like we went all around Hobart. We went to the big dip, went to Long Hill, went everywhere and like I think we all learned a lot and then we were just like lying there looking up at the stars, had, like with Gaze. a few beers. And um like Johnny just pointed him and like, and like I don't know what shape he said, and he was like, "Those are my stars." And then like, like if you look up, like I did see his face in the stars. Oh, oh yeah, I've I've seen that. They were there, and I have. It's I've, I've similar to movies I've seen like. I've seen him. I've had his face yeah. in my in my face. Well, like when everyone was going through a really hard time after his death, I like I just skated like there was no tomorrow, and I did have a bad fall. Like, I didn't really tell anyone about it, but like I was knocked. I was knocked out for 10, 15 minutes, and when I woke up, there were like there were these birds pecking at my arms. So it's Sorry, I don't, I'm yeah. not very keen on birds. I mean, I like girls. I love. You know, well, yeah, that, that's not a bird. Yeah. But, um, yeah, anyway, yeah. And um, like during that 10, 15 minutes, I think like I had Johnny by my side and he was just like patting my back, saying, Get up man, because yeah. it's not your time. And he and I said, Johnny, but that wasn't your time and he said, Any time's better when you're not 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 skating. Yeah, not skating. Like he was like saying My know, time's the shine time. Yeah, and he was like as as if to say that Maybe it wasn't his time, but he was skating, and skating's always his time. That, that's his prime time. 
Johnny always <laughs> fucking, fucking, like, he's, he said it to me a lot, man, like, well, I remember one time I was, like, right here, right at the end there, I'm a new boy, it was a B&W board, that stands for Big Man's Wheels, no, Big Man, Big Man's Wheels. It's a good, yeah, it's a Tasmanian brand. It's a, yeah, it's a Tassie brand, a lot. Cooked it, fell flat on my leg, left leg, actually, not right leg, um, and it broke it, you know, clean break. Yeah. Right, it was a knee, wasn't it? There wasn't even that much blood or anything. It was just a fair, fair bit of bone, though, you wasn't it, eh? Hey? You totally cooked it. Cooked it, man. But uh, Johnny came, he came straight up to me. He was fairly calm. I was in severe hysterics for the situation. Right? Johnny said, man, blood is thicker than water, and water is thicker than bone, and those bones will heal. And it's something that, something that he always said. And eventually, after several surgeries and a lot of rehabilitation, it did heal. Fuck Johnny, though. He broke so many bones. Yeah, I, I remember, reckon. Remember one bone. time he broke his wrist, but then just got back up and kept going. Yeah. Calm. But, like, no, that, he did have a weird thing in, like, that, a year. That was, like, well, it went all black. a little bit. Yeah. Little that was he didn't good. even get, go to the doctor. I'm fairly anything. sure, like, half his wrist, like, actually came off. Like, and no one knows where it is. Oh. Fuck me. <laughs> 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 Johnny was heavily into music. It was something that influenced him a lot. You know, I like it too, but I've also, the softer side of it appeals to me a lot, the poetry. So I've done a little, I've done a little um, poem for Johnny. And it goes as follows. Um, my name is Ave, and I'm gonna pave you into the floor, and you will be no more. Johnny, you're so young. Actually, I'm sorry, I don't think I can finish that one. under my arm and I stood there for a while but every, like they were just clearing the area of all the skaters and I walked to I walked to Johnny's house and I knocked on the door and his mum Rachel answered it and I said I just dropped the board and she looked at me and I, and I think she just knew she felt it she knew he was gone it made me fainted which I'm pretty sure she did because she, she's a drama queen. But, um, yeah, Amy just put it on what like, she didn't even care, but she just sort of saw that there was opportunity there and it fell to the ground. But she did, did something. Yeah. But anyway, um, anyway. Yeah, Rachel and I just sat on the couch. And, um,. And I had a bit of Johnny's blood on my hand because I'd been holding onto the board and it had a bit of his blood on it. So lots of this graffiti around here, like, Johnny was a legend around these parts. Like, happy birthday, babe, love tops. Now it's just some of his inspirers come down here. And like, like, here you are. Life was one of Johnny's oh. nicknames when he was younger. Man, oh, this so one that, here. That's like, this is like his turn. Six million ways to die, choose. And I think... That kind of signifies Johnny. Obviously Johnny didn't want to fucking die, but... It's 
Steer it to him while he loves. Followed us, he like, fucking followed us all the way down though. 